Hello, my YouTubians, and welcome to So You Want to Be a Paranormal Investigator, Season 2, Episode 3. If you've been in doing paranormal long enough, eventually you're going to have a spirit follow you home. That just goes with the territory. Now, once they get to your place and they can tether themselves to, to your place, they can be pretty hard to get. You gotta sage out the house, you gotta do lots of blessings. Sometimes it takes a long time uh, to get rid of them. And it's really not a lot of fun. <laughs> Even if they're good spirits. I mean, um, it's someone invading your home and it's not a good feeling. However, to understand how they do it, first you gotta understand what they do. They get your scent. Okay, now it's not like our scent, like how we smell it, but you know how when um, there's a good spirit around, you'll smell something sweet, or you'll smell some flowers, or you'll smell, you know, and when you smell flowers, you can tell if it's jasmine, buttercup, uh, roses, tulips, it, it, each of them has a smell, right? Rotten eggs, sulfur, the other side of it, well, dead body, flesh, whatever. Anyway, we also have a smell to them, okay? So what happens is they lock onto your scent and they follow you, okay? So like when someone's lived in a, in a haunted place, and even if they move, then that next place is haunted, it's because they followed them, right? Well, why have them follow you? Okay, this is the thing. Uh, it usually takes about two or three days for them to actually attach to a place. So if you get rid of them before that, uh, chances are you won't have any trouble with them because they can't follow you. Now what happens is once they lock onto your scent, they can go from wherever they're attached to. So if they're say they're attached to a foundry, right, but they've locked onto your scent, as long as they got your scent, they can go as far as they want, okay? The minute it's like a rubber band though because if you can break the scent even just for a split second the rubber band will snap them right back to where they came from and they can't leave until they get someone else's scent so this is this is the the concept so to understand how this works you gotta understand how they work okay and they work by they can transfer their keys let's say say they're they're locked into the foundry well if they're following your scent those keys have turned right and if they can get actually uh, tethered to where you live the foundry tether stays but now they can go back and forth to the foundry or to wherever else they're tethered see that's how it works they travel along the tethered lines so you don't want them tethered to you so let's get rid of that so after you've done your investigation and you're going around or whatever, you're leaving the building, okay? Now the main thing is you don't want them following your scent, okay? So it doesn't have to be something stinky or anything, it's just got to be something strong enough to break uh, the scent that, you, that we all naturally have. I mean for all I know you smell like uh, chicken, beef and greens and I smell like beef jerky to them. I don't know. But uh, the point of the matter is you got to change the scent. Okay? So let's do that. The first thing you need to do, well make sure you have a little baggie and you're going to want a one inch uh, wide paintbrush. Okay? So just remember that. Alright. So the mixture is simple, it's three to one. So you need, and it doesn't matter what kind of salt, but you need three tablespoons of salt, okay? And simple as can be, you need one tablespoon of cinnamon. Words 
and put your meaning and put everything behind it, okay? See, 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 this is to make sure that no spirits can follow me all my ask Mother Earth and Father Sky to bless this mixture. See, see, see. See, see, see. I ask Sister Moon and Brother Sun to make sure it clouds their eyes so they cannot follow me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I ask Sister Lake and Brother Mountain to make their path horrible so they cannot follow. Hey, 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 Elementals, I ask that you allow no spirit to follow me, good or bad, for I'm going home and I do not wish spirits at my house. Hey, 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 Okay. Now, the reason you want to buy, you want to fill this up if you can. You know, the more you have with you, the better. And you can keep it in the back of your vehicle or you keep it in your, your go bike, whatever. But anyway, this is good enough for this demonstration. Okay, I'd label it Spirit Stopper or Spirit Blocker. Basically, it's what it is. Then, after your investigation, you just take a pinch and treat it like a uh, hand sanitizer, right? So rub your hands. Cinnamon, right? Now, uh, remember I was talking about the brush? Uh, the brush. So now you want to sit on your bumper, okay? Lift, put your foot up, take the brush, and just put a light coating on either shoe, okay? From that point, get up directly so make sure you got everything done you're just ready to leave okay so this is the last thing you do you put it on your shoes and you walk straight to the door you get in the car and you go all right don't waste time you just do your do your feet and go now that'll be enough just for a second to break that connection once that connection is broken, they're snapped right back to where they where they start to follow you from, and then they can't find you again because they have to wait for another scent, for a new scent to follow. Okay, and that's how it works. And this is how you stop them from following you home. When you get home, uh, getting out of the car, you could just put a little bit on your shoes to walk from your car to your door, just as an added guard. Um, you won't need to put any more on your hands, but you want to put another light coating on your shoes, just as an extra guard if you want um, to walk from your car to your house. And that way, in case they made it that far, which they won't, uh, but if they ever did, they would get lost from there and then snap back. So either way, uh, you're guaranteed that they're not going to be able to tether themselves to where you live, okay? Because that's when they start to haunt you. All right. So there you have it. Um, make a whole bag, you know, and uh, take it with you. And that's it. They, they, they'll never follow you home. All right? Okay. Now you have yourself a blessed day, and we'll talk to you on the next episode. Bye-bye.